Hi, I'm Rob and this is Gems of War. In this video, I'm going to show you the team I'm using for the Odorous Oozes event. That character there, Ooze Slime, is it anyway? God, oh, they're so funny. Thank goodness I'm wearing my best belt, otherwise my sides would have surely split. Anyway, on to the battle. Right, um, what I always recommend on these things is going into the shop and grabbing the tier 1. Gives you a potion of enchantment, which is really, really cool. Gives you enchantment at the start of the battle for all your troops for the entirety of the event. So it's completely well worth that 30 gems. As well as that, you get a bunch of other stuff as well. Get extra shards, extra souls, event sigils, and more. Right, that's the only one I'm going to get for this. Um, should be fairly straightforward. If you get more... You get um, tokens which you can upgrade to a badge and it just gives you extra power. You eventually get a medal and do a load more damage. That does definitely make it easier on the later stages. When you play this game, you'll um, do the event. You'll get a lot of extra stuff which your guild helps out with as well. And if you're not in a guild, why not get in one? You'll just make this sort of thing just so much easier. And you'll feel good for helping out too. Right, on to the team itself. It's kind of tricky to make a team for this because... The mana colour is red, but they have to be a striker and generator at the same time. So I've gone with Summer's Fury. This deals damage to all enemies and creates six red gems, which is handy for charging up the rest of the team. In Shaman class, so we get a 50% start on our mana, which is nice and handy. And on the champion talents, I've gone for gain four attack, gain two attack when I take damage, entangle the first opponent. I think that treat was actually irrelevant. I'm just going to go and check on that properly. We can just go and have a look. Yeah, Frosty, Counter-Attack, Root Trap. Oh, that's why, because I didn't want the Light Storm at the start, and I don't want the Leaf Storm, so that one does make sense. All troops gain four armor, and I haven't got these yet on this, but it would be Bloodthirsty on that one, and Bull General on that one, if you got this to 100. So dead straightforward, banners plus two red, plus one green, minus one blue. Basic idea behind this is we'll use Summer's Fury and cast that. That should wipe out the opposition, at least for the first few fights. And then whatever little health they got lying around sometimes, we'll use Marilith to finish them off because she does six true damage to all enemies, as well as then generate a load more gems for the team and charge everybody up again. And she also gets bonus red. And we've got two Mariliths, so we get two bonus red, which is really nice. Divinia's there, just as an extra mana generator and a cleanser, just in case we should become entangled or frozen or something annoying like that along the way at some point. Right, here we go. The first battle should be really, really straightforward. We're enchanted, we've got half mana start. We've got bonus red. All we need is red and... See you later. Always looking for red. There's the first one we get. And cast that. And if there is some lingerers around, like you see, like Marilith will probably be charged up anyway, so you just cast Marilith and We'll no doubt get to that stage in a minute. But, um, yeah, quite tricky to find a really fast team for this, but this team is fairly good. If you can't get red, like we can't at the moment, then get green. If you can't get green, get yellow. <laughs> if you can't get yellow, get anything. Marilyn, she will do damage to some, but she wiped one out, but she charged up the hero, which finished the job. That was particularly nasty to us on our colours. No red again. We do have green. As well hit them with that for being annoying because they've got two of them have got 13 life or extra life you may as well pick up their extra green and get the other Marilith charged up it doesn't matter now because that's been charged more event sigils I 
Good at last, thank you. On these kind of events, you're generally looking for um, a troop that does damage to all and get, can get charged really, really quickly. It's the key to most of them. And if you find a troop that does that, normally you can stack up on, on two or three of them and make it really, really nice and quick and easy that way. That's what I do anyway. There are lots of ways around things with this game. That's why it's so good. Everyone's got a different style, or different techniques of how to do stuff. We'll keep it on the harder ones now, so we'll see what happens as these Infernus battles get harder. Yeah, I survived the first one. First Marilith is ready. We'll give them a little bash. Lost that. This should help do damage and generate mana for the um, hero. And again. And it's another cast of Marilith and it's done. So it's slowing down now. Obviously if you've got the badges and medals it will be quicker. Now we'll speed up again now because he's a lower level opponent again now until we get to the next set of harder ones. No red again, no green, no yellow. Skull bash then. Yes, charge that like that. Get out of it, furnace. Think you're hard? You only smell strong. Shake with 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So kill one of them and hopefully get some mana. Divinia can help charge the rest of the team. Knock out Shigra. Watching for ninjas. So good ninja, you shouldn't be able to watch for a ninja. That's the whole point of being a ninja. If you're watching for ninjas and you see one, that ninja shouldn't be a ninja. He's not doing his job properly. the mana we need as well as give life which is really really handy especially need to do a few multiple casts such a cool troop Divinia really is all right I'll just use the rest of these shards and see how the team works really handy when you get four matches as well when Divinia gives a a random benefit to someone uh, might as well get that. So yeah, overall it's pretty quick. Those double Marilyths help charge up the team really, really fast. Oh, no, wrong one. That one. Alright, I'll do the last one a little bit slower for the benefit of the newer players. Do a little bit more explanation. So the first part is obvious, we're always looking for red. If we can't get red, we'll get green. And we'll get a four match if one's there too. Why not? Cast Flame of Fire, we need no more four matches. Create some red. If we're lucky, it will match some. If not, it won't. Cast Marilith because she'll do some damage and then destroy a load of gems as well, which is the handy part. That's charged up both Marilith's again now, but 
I'd probably take the Skull Match now, or we can leave that because they're entangled at the front. We can cast Divinia to charge up the hero. You can take this Skull Match up to you. I, Because they're entangled, I'd rather get the hero charged. And we can cast that. We've got some red back, which is nice. Now, with that Wish Gem, this is particularly handy, being able to uh, destroy gems, because with Divinia, guaranteed to get that Wish Gem. And didn't quite charge us up, but hey-ho. Can't win them all. Now, now we'll let's cast. Generates mana. And that is close to winning. And then, with that low life, Merrilith will finish off. Hunting and furnace ready to collect. Right, well, there's my team. That's what I'm using for this one. It's quite fun to use. If you enjoyed the video be cool if you liked and subscribed thanks for watching catch you again next time bye for now